ตาทานงฮัดริกับสูเดตรตุเปเพนตีคิบาเรลลาอ่าเตนีตาเตลลาอ่าเตตาบูตาฮิราจิพารุตุจิมบาตุเปเพนตงตาเตรตันดาเก
ตาตระเจ็บสันจิจอมเดนเดดอจอกตะบะญามิฮะจะตะบาจูรเสเปตันจิติจะคอมมอมบอลาตันตะชูจิงคอลโกรยิงเปสันจิตอมจอนจูส
Tajitanga Tene ta lama che parati, tu top che parati, mambo che che parati la, ta te nam che mengo ga on di se na, zopa che mbo gom na re, zopa che mbo mengo na re. Re te yinna yo zopa che mbo ngo ngo ma te kandere se na, shira che paru tu cimbe, chunyi che ne lu gamba te ge go ne, tartu kandere bo ngan di se pa, re. And so it is, be rely, it is by relying on this transcendent full, uh, trans, uh, this profound transcendent full knowing that all of the Buddhas will fully and clearly awaken to unsurpassed, true, complete enlightenment. And so this, it is by relying upon this transcendent full knowing that they will reach the correct and complete state of Buddhahood. It is through the vehicle of transcendent full knowing. Uh, and so this is discussing it in terms of the great vehicle. When we talk about it in terms of the ancient translation tradition of the Nyingma school, then there are the uh, great Mahasiddhas of, uh, the, of the great teachers uh, from the Indian tradition of Garap Dorje and uh, uh, Shadap Senge. Shide Senge. I'm sorry, I haven't studied enough Nyingma yet. <laughs> Shide Senge. <laughs> and uh, then there are the uh, 25 close disciples. And then in terms of the Tibetan masters, there are the 25 close disciples of uh, Guru Rinpoche. Uh, and then uh, there are um, the later, uh, the masters who have later appeared, the um, masters such as Longchen Rabjampa and so forth. These uh, many different masters who have appeared and who have awakened through com to complete Buddhahood. And what is it that they awaken to Buddhahood uh, through? It is through uh, meditating on the great perfection, Dzogchen. But what is the essence of this great perfection, the Dzogchen? The essence of uh, the great perfection is nothing other than transcendent full knowing itself. And so in this way, all of these great practitioners have awakened to Buddhahood through meditating upon the transcendent full knowing. Tini <laughs> Tene chuni genelu samo gomba latine tene tartu gondevo topper in zebare. In terms of our Kaju tradition, the uh, great practitioners uh, such uh, from India, such as Saraha and Telopa and Niropa, uh, and then also the Tibetan masters of Marpa and Milarepa. Gampopa and all of the masters who have descended from Gampopa, the masters of the four great and eight lesser lineages, they all, uh, who they have all awakened to complete and perfect enlightenment. Um, and they have awakened to this primarily by doing, following the instructions of the practice on the great seal and the, uh, or Mahamudra and the instructions of the six yoga, yogas of Naropa. But what are these uh, six yogas of Naropa and the great seal in essence? They are the profound transcendent full knowing. And so thus all of these masters too have awakened to complete and unexcelled awakenment by relying on this profound transcendent full knowing. <laughs> Lam 
Sawanda buti, tak kira je baru tu cuma ini bicara na, tanda, tak ngaran soge je, ngaran kijang, tak je hiji jung, hiji jung ada, dene cira nampi ke senji jung ada, dene teh jendu, kalau pasang buki la teh tabo, nyam selain ni tak teh kecuali senjuba, teh kecuali nyam selain ba, nyam ni nawa teh, tak tanda. Zobu Sonji Jom Din Dei Je Lom La Hyuk Lom La Hyuk Ni Lom La Nro Yin Ba Ya Re La Lom La Hyuk Ni Nro Yin Ba Yin Ba Chir Na Mao Pa La Tini Ni Par To Tini Thar Tu Gun Dei Bu Zobu Sonji Jom Din Dei Je Kong Pong La Lep Ju Ye Ba Zobu Sonji Jom Din Dei Je Kong Pong La Lep Ne Karin Chung Ki Yawar Se Na Tini Nkor Wa Tung Nyen Sung Ki Tung Ha Le Thar Ju Ye Ba Te Ta Bu Ka Kwa Kap Zang Po Topari la, dia tahu yang bercer na, tanda, ini tu semua je sanjai tamji jom, kira je baru tu semua dah lalat ini, ngambil tu per sanjai per hari, semua kita jun sen di, dah tinggi, dah boleh jadi cinta mari. And so now Rinpoche has had the opportunity to uh, teach you and to explain to you a little bit about this uh, profound transcendent full knowing. And you all have had the opportunity to listen to this and to think about it and study it. You have had the opportunity to embark down the path of transcendent full knowing. You all have entered the path of transcendent full knowing and now you can go down it. You can practice the transcendent full knowing and progress down the path. Uh, and as you progress down the path of transcendent full knowing, then you definitely will be able to come to a result, to come to the result of complete and perfect Buddhahood. Uh, this is, um, you have entered the path and this path, um, and so by listening and practicing and following and having the good and following the path and having the good opportunity to do this uh, gives you the possibility or it means that you can uh, attain the complete and perfect enlightenment. And that is, this is because of listening to and practicing the instructions on this profound transcendent full knowing. And so you can attain the state of, so there, so, so there is this state of Buddhahood for you to attain. And, and what does it mean to attain the state of Buddhahood? It means to be free of all of the sufferings of samsara. And so here, uh, all the Buddhas that dwell in the three times fully and uh, clearly awaken to the unsurpassed, true, complete, enlightened by fully relying on this transcendent full knowing. This is said for this reason. Ta te jeso ta tanda zungho pen ta jepa suare la tini ta te jirdu tanda Kira je baru tu cuma dia dia pergi jadi ta bom lasupa kalau kan bom ia pelasupa mampu tengok ada. Tadi dua di tempat tabu je ini nak kira ni pun do. Tak kasih kalau kan ni setengah kau ni tempat dua tabu je ayuare. Ayuare tu ni bo ni bo dua na tene baru tu cint sengkin de. Kira je baru tu cint sengkin di. Tanda de, ini tempa. Paru tu cint setang orang tu tanda cint dig noa, jitin dig noa, cuma tele paru tu cint ba. Cuni tegi ni je nelu topa de, ti tanda de tambur cuntung. Tiada yang nello, tiada lama jinjam selain sol, tiada latihan yang dapat top sol lasso pasung ayam picture na. Cawa cawa jimbo jimbo tabu ti, tahu ni tempe. Gati gati parang gati parasan gati, bod soha singkir ti re re la ta ti tig tig parut cintu nubal la ti ni ti ni ngar sanji tamji jom sanji tu pa mahu balas sanji perjuwa tanda sanji jemba ta dia tahu ke nubal cembu ye picer na ngah segera ni. Next comes the section on teaching the mantra and its benefits. 
Now, the meaning of the profound transcendent full knowing is taught in many different ways. If you teach it extensively, it is taught in the 100,000 uh, shloka, the 100,000 verse uh, sutra on uh, transcendent full knowing. Or if you teach it concisely, then you can teach it in the, uh, uh, the it, it, then there is this teaching of the Heart Sutra. Uh, but the most concise, the essence of the essence of the ch profound transcendent full knowing is in the word um, that I have translated here as transcendent. The, tr the Sanskrit word paramita uh, or the, or paramita or the um, Tibetan word parol to chimba, which means going beyond or going to the other side. Uh, so going to the other side. And so this going to the other side um, is, the, uh, is the essence, the absolute real heart and essence of the profound transcendent full knowing. And the reason that it is the absolute essence and heart of, of, it be, of the profound transcendent full knowing is that right now we are uh, so what is it the excuse me so what is it that we are going to the other side of what we are going to the other side of is uh, the uh, appearances of samsara the confused appearances of this world and when we go to the other side the other side is the dharma nature as it is the ultimate dharma nature uh, and so it is by going to the other side that, it, so uh, the essence of the meaning of profound transcendent full knowing is going to the other side. Uh, and so this here is uh, what is meant by the mantra which follows, which reads, Tadyata om gate gate paragate parasangate bodhiswaha. So this is the essence of the meaning of all of transcendent full knowing. And it has this power this to bring us to the meaning of, of the profound transcendent full knowing. And so this is the essence by which all of the Buddhas of the three times the, uh, have or will awaken to the uh, profound transcendent full knowing. And so for this reason, it is called the mantra. Ta no one dele galne, that dripa meeting, trapa meeting, singular, hinton days in Kinta, that's on Jusen Bachin Potins, Rimji Rimjin, Drebo Topper Sip, Nuba de, then Hira Japaru to Simba in the Cherna, Hira Japaru to Simba de, Tank Motab, Motte, Nuba, Pusum Sopa don't temper, yea, then a Upo Teki Kanga, then a jump to Bandabo. Change the chat on the jump to Bandabo, the ending the chat on the belt to Batavaji in the Cherna, Tetabu in the Cherna, Hiraja Paru to Timbati, Hiraja Paru to Timbati, what under our Hiraja Paru to Tim. No, Rigpa Chimbu, no, soon to tell la, then a Rigpa Chimbote, that under Change the chat, Tomji, Bang, ending the chat, Tomji, belt to book a new button. And so in teaching the mantra, it says, therefore, so therefore, because of these reasons, and so what are the, and so what is it? It is therefore, there being, um, because this is the, uh, uh, this profound transcendent full knowing is, um, so, so it is because of this profound, uh, so what the nature, the profound nature of everything is, is this profound transcendent full knowing. And because it is uh, through this profound transcendent full knowing that all of the bodhisattvas can um, uh, pass, uh, can abandon all of the cognitive obscur obscurations. And it is because of the, this um, 
uh, profound, transcendent, full knowing, that they can become, uh, that, that they, they can transcend all fear and have no fright or fear, uh, and so uh, uh, transcend all the sufferings of this world. And so, therefore, this is the mantra of transcendent full knowing. Therefore, for these reasons, this, the mantra of transcendent full knowing, the mantra that can bring uh, uh, that can bring all, this, all, uh, all the Buddhas, that, that can lead to the awakening of all the Buddhas of the three times. This is the mantra of uh, three times, uh, uh, this is the ma- mantra of transcendent full knowing. Uh, and then the mantra of deep insight, or the, uh, that's how I've translated it last year, that's not correct. It should be the, the, uh, the mantra of great knowledge. So this uh, mantra of great knowledge, this is the Rikpa it is the uh, mantra that has the great power. This is the mantra by which the uh, Buddhas of the three times all can come to complete and perfect awakening. This is the mantra uh, by the power of which we can, uh, uh, that has the power to conquer all of the faults and that has the power to expand all of the qualities. And so in this way, bring us to complete and perfect awakening. And so this is the, the mantra of great knowledge. Okay, Rinpoche is correcting me. I just corrected my translation. Rinpoche is recorrecting me and saying that actually that first transla- uh, translation saying the mantra of deep insight is good. <laughs> uh, and that this shows the uh, power and the, uh, the power of the, wor- of the words. Yentin Tene <laughs> Next comes the unsurpassed mantra, the term the unsurpassed mantra. This mantra is unsurpassed because it has the great power to, uh, to help us uh, to help us discard all the faults and to help us develop all the qualities. So it is unsurpassed. It has this great power, this great potential to do that. And so here we have first the mantra of transcendent knowing, second the mantra of deep, in, deep insight, third the mantra, the unsurpassed mantra, and fourth the mantra equal to the unequaled. And so here when we say equal to the unequaled, what is it that is unequaled? Well, in terms of us ordinary sentient beings, what are unequaled are all of the great bodhisattvas who have realization. 
we uh, ordinary sentient beings are inferior. We are not equal to them. And yet through the power of this mantra, through the power of the profound transcendent full knowing, we too be can, can become equal to these unequal, equal to the great uh, bodhisattvas here. And so uh, th uh, this is the mantra that is, it is through the power of this mantra. So it is the mantra that is equal to the unequaled. Now in comparison to uh, the, uh, to us uh, uh, sentient, in comparison to the Buddhas, however, uh, ordinary sentient beings and the uh, bodhisattvas are far inferior. Uh, there is no way that we could uh, possibly come to equal all the great qualities of the Buddhas, whether an ordinary being or uh, a bodhisattva. Uh, that may be so, however, uh, by relying on this mantra of, of uh, tra transcendent full knowing, by, re by relying on uh, the profound transcendent full knowing, we too can attain the state of Buddhahood. We too can attain this state. And so therefore, this is the mantra that is equal to the unequaled. Now, if you, um, uh, if you, uh, if you look at this uh, in, in great detail, you could also say that there are also all the great practitioners of the past who had all the uh, uh, abilities to create miracles and to all the clairvoyances and so forth. And we ordinary sentient beings are uh, not able to do that ourselves. And so in this way, we are inferior to them. Uh, we may be inferior to them. However, uh, we can, uh, by practicing the profound transcendent full knowing, uh, we can rely on its power and, it, and the power of this mantra, on the power of the profound transcendent full knowing also to attain such uh, powers ourselves. Number Tene <laughs> And so this is also the mantra that completely pacifies all suffering. And so here in this world realm, we have various different types of suffering, different types of pain, problems, and experiences that we have. Uh, and so uh, uh, if we have to, uh, if we need to get rid of these, uh, get rid of the suffering, get rid of the pain, get rid of the um, the suffering of samsara. What is it that has the power to, uh, to, bring, uh, to help us pacify all this suffering? It is the, uh, uh, tr the profound transcendent full knowing that has the power to, the, to pacify all of our suffering. And so, therefore, this is the mantra that uh, completely pacifies all suffering. And so, uh, is this a mantra that Sometimes pass, or, so does it sometimes pacify all of the suffering and sometimes not pacify all of the suffering? Or does it uh, sometimes pacify half of the suffering and not the other half of the suffering? No, it does not do that. The profound transcendent full knowing has the power to completely, completely and fully pacify all of the suffering. This is the power of profound transcendent full knowing. Then, 
ตอนจงเมกะไม่ปาทีนี้อุนิกเดมบะยิงเบกะชุลเตะเตมบะเรลาทีเชอร์นาทีนี้ทีตอนจงเมกะไม่ปาทีนี้อุนิกเดมบะ
Transcendent full, know, uh, full knowing itself is very vast and profound and uh, extremely huge, and yet the essence of it all, what is the essence of it all? It all comes down to this meaning of going beyond. Uh, so uh, to the meaning of going, uh, going beyond, or paramita in Sanskrit. And so this essence here is uh, proclaimed in the mantra, tadyata, or this is how it is. It is like this, om gate, gate. So, Gate here means gone. Now, in Tibetan, there are two different words that this can be translated as, shekpa and chimpa. And it's often translated as shekpa, but if you use chimpa, it's the same word as in the uh, word padal to chimpa, the word for paramita. So here it means gone, gone, so gone beyond. So, so here it is gone. Now, this gone is said two times. And what is the reason it is said uh, twice? It is said twice because it is uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, going beyond, uh, it is the relative, uh, it is the relative uh, paramita, it is the relative going beyond, and it is the ultimate going beyond. And so for that reason, it is the uh, said twice. Uh, and so then it says paragate. So paragate means, uh, para means beyond, gate means gone. So uh, it's gone beyond again. So we have gone beyond all the pro uh, all of the uh, appearance of some samsara to the uh, beyond to the uh, to the uh, way that the dharma nature is, and so we have gone beyond to that. And uh, so this is the, the meaning of padal to chimpa, or the meaning of gone beyond. And so this is parasangate. We have uh, sang here means complete or correct. So we have completely or correctly gone beyond. Uh, and this is enlightenment. So it says bodhi. So the word bodhi is Sanskrit for enlightenment. And in Tibetan, the word is chang chup. And the first word chang here means purifying all of the faults, purifying all of the obscurations. And the second word, chup, means to uh, develop, develop all of the qual qualities. And so this, is the, um, uh, so this is the meaning of, uh, of the word enlightenment. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, the last word swaha here is what they call in, in Tibetan uh, sort of uh, establishing the basis uh, or, or forming the basis. And what this means is, is this is it. So this is what, um, th this is what uh, the enlightenment is. <laughs> So we will uh, leave it here for today. And if there's anyone who has a question, please ask. We <laughs> share two. Is it on? OK. I have two questions. My first question goes back to the very first point of Taranatha, why Shint, it was a Shintong view. And I was wondering if there's another way of seeing that first point. Um, when Avalokiteshvara practiced Prajnaparamita and clearly saw that five skandhas are empty, is it possible to look at that in terms of when he was resting in Prajnaparamita, then he had a I guess you call it self-awareness, wisdom arose, the Rangrik Yeshe arose, and then from that he realized the five skandhas were empty. Dila Jetsun Taranadagi, Shandong Sawa Tempe, Tik Tampo, Kapsutene, Chanjus and Besson, Vichimba, Papa Shanese, Sama Ne, Shiraki Pato Chimpe, Nila Nabratashi, and Pumunga Ranching in Tumbertao, Tao, Shepe Kap. La Dilla Dine Kung Samapar to Chimbala Nyumber Shupe Kapsu, Dine de Nyumber Shut, Ne Dijelaya, Anne Ranjung Yeshe Kene, Ranji Yeshe de Kate Sane, Dine Pumbongapo de Lion, Ranjing at Oper Nabratao Shenas, Dedabo Tana de Genas. 
the order there is not quite right. The, um, uh, if you, it's not that first the, uh, the self-arising wisdom arose and then he saw the five aggregates as being empty. Rather, the order is that by recognizing the profound transcendent full knowing, he saw that the uh, that the five uh, aggregates are empty by nature. Uh, and so here the order is a little bit different. The order is different because it's by looking at the nature itself and recognizing seeing the nature itself that he sees the five aggregates to be uh, empty by nature. The nature of the five aggregates is not something that's just blank emptiness. Rather, uh, it's by looking at the profound transcendent full knowing that he realizes the, their nature. My second, the okay. uh-huh. My second question is about um, when Rinpoche talks about the clear awareness of the, av- the eighth consciousness. He says mm-hmm. clear knowing. Um, I have always, I've read a lot of different texts and they talk about the eighth consciousness as unknowing. So I wanted to know if he's talking about um, like the Lankavatara Sutra says, when there's two different versions of the, the, uh, the eighth consciousness, there's a pure and impure. Is, is he talking about the pure aspect of the eighth consciousness when he says clear knowing or clear awareness? Mm-hmm. The <laughs> 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 ตาเจสัลฮินริปาติกิจันเตมังกาปันดาวตังอารันซอดอนางินจานิชายอยอมาเดลาติกิจินอมบริฮิปิกิจันเตคอรันซัลเรยเดสัลเรยสิงกิเ
this unceasing continuum of, of knowing things. And so it is not something that is like a rock that doesn't know anything, nor is it something that is ever broken. Uh, but it is this continuous stream of uh, being clear and knowing, knowing things on the relative level. So that is what is meant. Whereas the ignorance is talking about uh, not knowing things on the, uh, uh, on the ultimate level. Thank you, Ramjay, for the teachings. Um, question is a little bit related to what she just said, but I was wondering if you could define the difference between Aliya and Aliya Vijnana. Yeah. Kunshi dan. Kunshi number shepe ye on a keeper candina. Kunji dan. Kunji number shepe. Kunji Number Hippa two G. D. Tanda, ye hing Allinger cup, right? Could it number Hippa two G. D. Hing Allinger cup so? Then a tongue number good to number Gumbata Tarjo on the Senna, can you can he can he know his carati or? Then a tela come up a summa ranjum dojige, then a tanda ya. Yeah, Zain de big cup, can you get a pot out in no dip? Can you tell a can you number hippa? That and a perna, narange, same change, so jee, Kiawa Chiman, so jee, ne, Tamahombala, Yalwala jee, you get less up a pot out tea, ye pala, can ye see? Tamahombala, Yalwala jee, ne, Sadanka do not know him, but I would be in a can you number hippa? The all ground or Allah and the all ground consciousness, the Allah Vigyan, the all ground and the all ground consciousness are um, presented. Uh, uh, in some ways, as there's the presentation of the all-ground consciousness in the, uh, I'm trying to remember the Sanskrit name, the Abhidharma Samuchaya, I think, by Asanga, the upper Abhidharma. There's the presentation of the eight consciousnesses, including the all-ground consciousness. And then there is also the presentation of the all-ground that is given in the third Karmapa, Rangjun Dorje's uh, Transforming Consciousness into Wisdom, in which he talks about how the all ground transforms into the wisdom. So how the eight consciousnesses transform into the five wisdoms. In that discussion of the eight consciousnesses transforming into the five wisdoms, then uh, at that time, then the seventh consciousness is divided into the afflicted consciousness and the immediate consciousness. Uh, and that's in that description. Now, as far as the... Uh, all ground and the all ground consciousness, the actual difference between the two of them. The all ground is like the place where karmic latencies, uh, habits and latencies are stored. Uh, and so you do something and the latency is stored in the all ground. And then the all ground consciousness is like the place where it appears, where that appears later, the result of that appears later. So if you take an example, for example, if we uh, if you kill someone, 
uh, then that is karma that leads to rebirth in hell. Uh, and so that, or if you kill a sentient being, that is karma that leads to rebirth in hell. And so that karma, the latency of that karma, is stored in the all-ground consciousness. Later, in a future life, when you are reborn in hell and experience the suffering of that, then that is the appearance of the, in the all-ground consciousness, or at least that is what um, Ribache thinks. It's a difficult, uh, conception, a difficult thing to get your mind around. It's hard for people with, uh, old people with, um, <laughs> for old people, and also young people, <laughs> to keep their minds around. <laughs> Rinpoche's <laughs> computer has gotten old, <laughs> and he was unable to find in it whether there's what the the uh, all ground and the all ground consciousness. He couldn't find it in his computer. His computer is old, and so he needs a new one. Rinpoche, <laughs> um, could I ask a follow up to that? Actually, is there would there be a difference between the Aliyah Vijnana and the Prajnaparamita? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, tra profound transcendent full knowing is uh, the, uh, the ultimate wisdom, the nature of all things, uh, uh, the, the wisdom essence of everything. And the uh, 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 all-ground consciousness is the root of all cons confusion. So there's a real distinction there. Okay, okay. And then I just have one last question. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was just wondering, I've heard that Long Tempa often says that the Prasangika view is held to be the highest or most profound in the Mahayana Sutras. But it seems that the Shantong view goes beyond that. And I was just wondering if you could say something about why Long Chempa says that. Long Chempa yi, ane, Teljuk be tao de, Teljuk be tao de, Lana me bare sumre. In a dealer, Shantong yi tao, Dele, Dele depres, Dele, Dele apores, tao. That's in the it's like a cooking video. <laughs> When you have a cooking video, the, the chef on the TV, he says, oh, this is salt, this is really great, and pours a little bit in. And he says, oh, this is oil, this is really great, and pours a little bit in. And the reason is that both have qualities, both are necessary, and so, oh, this is the, uh, this is the self empty view. This is really great, and you should really practice it. And then you say, oh, this is the, uh, uh, the other empty view. This is really great, and you should practice it also. <laughs> Hi. So, um, on the one hand, there's transcendent uh, all knowing. And on the other hand, there's correct <coughs> relative knowing. And then we don't even want to talk about false relative knowing. Mm -hmm. What is the um, justification 
for the correct relative knowing if it's not the same as the ultimate? Yeah. For example, <laughs> uh, from the ultimate standpoint, wouldn't all of the accounts of the eight consciousnesses, the um, aggregates, etc., be um, more art than science, and not really correct, but it's through those that we come to see the absolute. So it's a hard question to ask, and it's, I probably won't understand the answer for a very long time, but I have to ask it, what is this relationship between the two? How can we even begin to talk about correct relative knowledge? <laughs> ที่ยังตบิคุณจบท่องวิเชบะตีละเตนี่ที่นี่เอ่อเชบะจิพาลุสุมบะธรรมตอบโบโรเรสินโอเดที่เจดุคาละที่นี่อ่ากุนเอ
Tatiela Kunzo Latin, Tantonga Nelu Topate, Cerdo Tangaranzo Tanda Sosuci Negaso Tanda Dripne Kunzo Gunua de Charte, Tomba Nijola, Tantonga Netanga, Songa Hira Tanga Tangi or Marela Tene Tela, Sanji Jomdin Deji Tige Langote, Tain. Longa de Tain de Tela, two songs get here up the song of the town de Tela. They repeat the own de Tela, Muni, Tombany, read those on the Nihiji. Nihiji Balatine, Tate, Tia, Nihiji, Nihiji Batamaiba, Cora Dembe Neta de Tay in Becherna, Tinir by Yendel Gomni, Tinitan Tombenelu to be hite, get to your eh? The way we can attain, uh, realize the ultimate by relying upon the relative is that uh, it is through the um, relative that uh, in the relative appearances we are obscured and we see relative appearances and we do not realize the ultimate nature it is. We do not recognize it for what it is. And so we need to, um, so, the, so the Buddha taught a path to clarify, to, to, to clear away these obscurations. And that path is to study and to do listening and contemplation in order to realize the um, ultimate nature and thus attain the result. So, uh, so we, first we study and we listen and contemplate and then we engage in meditation and on the basis of that, then we are able to attain the ultimate result through that. Theta. Tene, Tatanda, Yonda Consulsi, Tanda, Tamoranga Sambayendo, Monte La Zontana, Yan, Tesena, Yapo Yungre, Tatambo, Junsin Hiro Higi Yomari, Monte Se, Tabase, the Monte Cesati, Sengelo de la Monte Sena, non Jugre, Monte Cesati, Yapo de la Monte Sena, Tinite Gima Saldo, 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 Tin Dreva Yapo Top Segreva. So in talking about what you mean by sort of the correct relative, the, the, when we talk about the correct relative, if it's something that you mean is like just having sort of blind faith in something, then it's actually possible that it could turn out well. <laughs> and the reason that it's possible that it could turn out well to have this blind faith is that if you have the blind faith in something that's actually correct, then you aren't sure about it, you're not quite certain about it, but as you train and as you study and then you follow the logics, then it'll get clearer and clearer and better and better. And so in that way, that sort of um, blind faith is actually good and actually helpful. So if you talk about that sort of blind faith um, uh, as being correct, uh, the, 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 if you talk about the correct relative as being that sort of blind faith, then it can turn out well. For example, if it's the blind faith about the ultimate nature of emptiness, and uh, you aren't sure about it, but you think, and you just sort of study and train and train and keep training, it'll get clearer and clearer and clearer until you understand it. Thank you, Rinpoche. Is the Abhidharma subject to revision or uh, change? Revision. Alteration, modification, upheaval, erratic. Is the Abhidharma fixed or it could be changed? It could, it could be seen to be not quite absolute. Chumba, <laughs> Drug 
Rinpoche asked your question in, or reposed your question in a very interesting way. Is the teaching of the Abhidharma uh, the expedient truth, the expedient meaning, or is it the definitive, the true meaning? Uh, and so here, Kebjo uh, uh, Rinpoche's answer to this, Trang Rinpoche's answer to this, is that um, you can't definitely say that the Abhidharma is all expedient truth or uh, the all expedient meaning or all the true meaning. Um, the Abhidharma teaches the way to progress from the, um, from the relative to the ultimate. And so in terms of teaching these paths, this, the, the path from the relative to the ultimate, it is uh, an expedient teaching. However, when it is teaching the nature and the points on the ultimate truth, then it is the true meaning, the definitive meaning. Thank you, Rinpoche. Thank you. Hello. Um, yesterday, Rinpoche was talking about when looking directly at the mind, uh, what one actually can recognize is uh, the unification or inseparability of clarity and emptiness, if I recall correctly. And I think Rinpoche made a point that we cannot actually see emptiness because it's not a thing to be seen, but it's, I suppose, something that can be experienced, something that can be uh, recognized, but it's unified or uh, not separated from the clarity. And my question is, when we turn to look at the nature of our minds and we, um, we aim to rest ourselves um, in that nature, are we resting more in the experience of the clarity, in that case, in the kind of sheer clarity of the mind? This is what I thought Rinpoche was indicating in his comments. So in terms of direct experience, uh, the experience is more of simply being within clarity. In, in the sense of uh, arising appearances that continue without any other interference or without any grasping after them. Uh-uh. Nee, <laughs> <laughs> Gong uh, so it's not just the five sensory consciousnesses, but it's all the consciousnesses. All of them, all of them have this uh, the clear, the clear aspect, and so. Um, uh, if we talk about it in terms of the, uh, of the Abhidharma, in terms of the teachings, then there are divisions and classifications into this, that, and the other thing. But when we um, are resting in meditation and look at it, then there's nothing that we can say, this is this, this is that, this is that. And it's not like that at all. Rather, it's uh, something that it is the essence of it. You can't really say it's one or the other.
Um, and so when we're resting in that, and there's resting in that uh, clear aspect, it's like all of the uh, types of consciousness. And so if you can rest in that and experience that, that is very good. And so you just rest in that experience and meditate it. And so you put a little bit of diligence into your, or put, put, put some efforts into your meditation, and it should turn out really quite well. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rinpoche. <laughs> so Rinpoche has a few more appointments and has to beg your pardon. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for uh, listening and contemplating and for asking these questions. Thank you very much. Now we will recite the dedications. Oh,